Here are 10 really cool iPhone hacks that I believe every iPhone user must try. These will make your device look really, really cool and of course different from other iPhones. Now, first of all, we're starting with widgets. So, you know, if we try to place a widget right here on the home screen, iOS will actually rearrange it and place it right here, in this case with this setup. So it won't let you place it anywhere you want. But here's the trick. Let's say we try to add a widget and we want to place it right here. All we have to do now for that to work is if you have this kind of setup right here, go ahead and add some more icons to your home screen. So if I add another four here, I will now have this setup. Now I can go ahead and add a widget. So tap the plus button. So here, let's add this widget. So tap and hold on it and drag it just like this and place it here. Make sure you get out of the edit mode now. And what you need to do next is go back into the edit mode. And now we can go ahead and just remove the icons we just added. And now when we go back there, you can see that the widget will be placed there and it will actually stay there. With some new additions that Apple has added to the Shortcuts app with some new actions, it actually lets you do a trick that will help you pretty quickly lock any app you want with your Face ID and passcode. And this is how it works and how simple it is. All you have to do is open the Shortcuts app, head on to Automations, create a personal automation, and then go ahead and choose App from the list here. Just make sure you have this enabled and go ahead and pick any app you want. Let's go with App Store tap on the dump button and now tap next tap on add action and search for lock screen and once you find lock screen just tap on it and all you have to do here is tap on next make sure you have disabled this and say don't ask and tap on the dump button and now we're good to go now we can see when someone tries to open this app on our device what it does automatically locks the device and goes back to the lock screen where you will have to actually enter your passcode or face ID in order to open the app. And you can see once I enter my passcode, it goes into the app, which is actually really, really useful. Now you can do another thing with this new action. So head on to shortcuts here and go to shortcuts right there. And you can create a shortcut called lock screen, which will allow you to lock your device without having to use any button. Again, just search here for lock screen. And once you have found that, tap on the dumb button. And now you have created that shortcut, 3D touch on it, tap on the share button and add it to your home screen. You can add any name here. You can even change the icon if you want to and then tap on add and you're good to go. Now on your home screen, you will have a button that allows you to lock your device without having to press the button, reach for the button there. So just tap here and your device is locked. Now here's a really cool one that will make your device stand out and look really, really different. Now this is the first step. So follow a few steps that you will see in the video here and you will be able to do this without a problem. So go to the edit mode on your home screen and just go to the last page like this where there are no icons. Make sure to take a screenshot here now go back to the shortcuts app and you will need to install this shortcut that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Just run the shortcut and what you need to do here is choose how many blank icons you want to add to your home screen. So you can basically add blank spaces to the icons on the home screen so you make your like icons layout look really, really different. So let's just choose here for a few like specific places on the home screen. And once you tap here, it will send you to your photos library and you pick the shortcut you just took. So you choose the shortcut and wait here for a couple of seconds and it will show you right here another page. So this is where you can choose which icons you want to add to your home screen. So we can pick these like this. Just like that, we can place the icons, the empty spaces right here. So let's just pick that as well and this one as well. And we will get an amazing like home screen layout here in a couple of seconds. So tap on the dumb button and then tap no right here and then install on home screen. And this will install a profile on your device. Just add a name here. And now it will allow you to download this profile. So tap on allow here, tap close and go to settings and install the profile it just downloaded. Now when you go to settings, you will see the profile at the top of your settings app. You tap on install and now you will have it right here on the home screen. So there we have all the icons and all we need to do now is go to the edit mode and just place all the icons on their spots like this and you will be able to get this amazing setup on your home screen. So you can see just like that, we have all the icons here downloaded now. 
And as you can see right now, once I have all the icons that we just downloaded, all the blank icons placed on their specific place, you will get this really, really cool looking setup on the home screen of your device. So you can see right here, you will have like a different, like a custom layout for the icons that will make, of course, your device look really, really cool. Now here's another really cool thing that you can do on the home screen of your iPhone. You can see right here we have a blank page, but we actually have a widget here which is hidden on the home screen. If I swipe here, you can see I can reveal the widget. But if I swipe like that, the widget is gone. Now what you need to do to get this set up on your device, again, go to the edit mode, go to the last page where there are no icons and take a screenshot right here. And you will need an app that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. It is called MD Blank. You get this app and right here, tap on both of these and just load the screenshot you just took. Now, all you have to do is go to your home screen and add the widget from this app. So here we have MD blank, but you can you can choose here what kind of widget you want to add. So let's add a big one right here. There we have it. Of course, it doesn't look that good because we have to rearrange it. But first of all, let's add another widget on top of it and make this a stack. So here we have a big widget from calendar. So we can add it on top of it and make it a stack. And if you want to hide it, you can swipe like this. But you can see it doesn't look that good because we have to tap and hold here and tap on edit here and then choose the position of the widget. So you can see right here, we can go ahead and just choose bottom and now it will look perfect. So you can see how it hides the widget. And if we swipe, swipe like this, we can get back the widgets and we can hide them anytime we want. So you know with iOS 16, Apple has changed the way wallpapers actually work on your device and the way you add wallpapers to your device. So when you go to the wallpaper section right here, you will have your wallpapers. And if you tap on customize here, you can see that you don't actually have an options to change the zoom of the wallpaper on the home screen, which actually was an option before. Now for this to work, all I have to do is tap on photos here and select the same wallpaper from my photo library. So once I select the wallpaper, it will show me this page right here. And now I can go ahead and zoom in and out and set the wallpaper any way I like, tap on done. And now you can get different zoom on the home screen and a different zoom on the lock screen. Now this next one is really, really cool. Now this will work mainly when you want to add custom custom icons on the home screen of your device. If you use the shortcut app, you can do that with this trick and it will be pretty easy. Head on to Google and just make sure you search for empty character. So when you search for empty character, it will show you a bunch of options here. Just go to this website right here and all you have to do is just tap on copy the clipboard. This will copy an empty character to your clipboard. Now if I go to shortcuts and I want to add like an icon to the home screen of my device, I tap on share and tap on add to home screen. All I have to do is just remove the name here and paste the text we have just copied just like that. Tap on add and you can see now it will actually add this icon to the home screen without a label at all. Now you can use the same trick for folders as well. So if you have that empty character copied to your clipboard, you can go to one of your folders and if you want to rename it, you can just go ahead and tap the X button to remove the name tap on paste right there, it will just paste the empty character. And just like that, you will have a folder that doesn't have a label at all. Here's another cool trick you can do with the settings of your device. So head on to settings, go under accessibility and scroll all the way down. You will find per app settings. Go ahead and tap on here. You will find the home screen as the first one. What you can do here is add bold text to your home screen. So go ahead and tap on bold text and tap on on and this will make the text on your home screen bold. Now it will work on your control center as well in your home screen, of course. And if we go right here to the spot to the app library, you will see that the text is bold here as well. And it also has an impact on the st status bar of your device. Now the old trick from iOS 15 that lets you have multiple icons of one app on the home screen still works. So you can have like different pages with the same app. So if I have YouTube on another page, I can have it right here as well. So you can see I have it here on the second page, but I have it on the fourth as well. All you have to do is just go ahead and drag it from the app library and have it right here. You can see we have Spotify here, but we also have it right here. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one.